All right, guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption once again. I love that. I love seeing the moon during the day because it really freaks out the flat earthers. Wonderful thing to see. Right, we're trying to, well, I'm hoping I can get to uh, West Dickens, who's not here. I've got, to, I've got to head around the mountain. I hope you are all doing well, having a great week, as it were. Uh, I think this might be the way to go. And thank you once again. Let's get this done. Mr. West Dickens. Now we've got our Gatling gun. Uh, finally, took a took a couple of goes. We got there in the end. Oh, well, my horse is complaining so much. Oh, it's because I've outstammered him. Outstammered him is the word I was looking for. So I've left it a little bit late to start recording today, which is um, well, you know, it's nobody's fault. But I was having a good old long chat with my boy. My boy, my beautiful boy. So I don't know how long this will be. <gasps> oh, is that my first cougar? Please, 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 please. Okay, I think I upset it. Got him. I hate to do this to such a beautiful creature, but these pelts are worth a lot of money, okay. Oh, wow. We've almost got a Borderlands style <laughs> cartoon effect going on in the background there. My horse is buggered off up the mountain. Uh, okay, my horse has become a donkey. Oi, get down here. Down here. No, he's got stuck. If I have to come up there, if I have to come up there and get you down, sunshine. All right, what are we doing here? I'm probably going to kill the horse by now taking it back down the mountain. So first, is that my first cougar? I think it was. Was that a cougar? I didn't even look. Mountain lion? That should be illegal. Mountain lions. Okay. Uh, plain view. Plain view of what? Oil fields. Right, this guy can't be too much further. I swear I came to the right place. Oh, I did. And here we go. Mr. West Dickens, sir. Ready for... Oh, there he is. He's peddling his uh, magic concoctions once again. Sunshine. Oh, well, maybe I should start here. Mr. Marston, sir! John Marston! Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Yep, the silent treatment. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? Ha <laughs> ha You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think! I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> I mean, he's a great character, but he's, he's, he's kind of annoying, isn't he? I mean, who, can, who names their child West? Or I should say, who names their child North, for that matters. All right, come on, have I got to play the stooge again? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute 
chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, back uh -oh. well, This man is a fucking charlatan. Yep, he just you're got right. done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say right. we tar and feather him right ah. now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Oh, kind of was looking. Oh, all right, all right. Make a quick getaway. I really got it. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh no, I'm shooting the back of the horse. I don't know what's going on with the animation here. What's going on? Okay, the game's frozen. It's broken. I mean, I know, I know in uh, this mode we go into slow motion, but this is kind of ridiculous. The guy's dead. The guy's dead. I can't, I, I can't get out of it. Alright, well they're all dead now anyway. That was weird. I've never seen it go so slow. That's what she said. This is mighty generous of you, mister. I'll take that. I'll, t I'll take, I'll take what these two guys have got and then I'm getting in the wagon. Oh, I hate, I hate to skin a horse, but, you know, I need the cash, man. I need the cash. you got to do some bad things in your life sometimes. No, I, I don't condone what I'm doing right now. This is a fake game. It's not real. Don't judge me. Oh, God, he's gone. Oh, you irritated Wes Dickens, so he left you behind. All right, well, let's see if we can get the... Uh, Oh, shots off. All right, forget that. You know what? Let's just get in the bloody wagon. I don't need a horse. I don't need a, a skin that badly. All right. Bound to happen. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. So this is how it works in the Wild West. You just piss anybody off for anything, even slightly. Drawing and firing your weapon from shotgun is no different from doing that. Well, I've kind of figured that out, boys. I mean, those, that is genius. Yeah, it's just such a shame, though, that that's all you've got. You know, two choices in the world, in this world. It's, it's... Live with being upset. And insulted or die for it. It's not called the Wild West for no reason. Look at that, even the rabbits are after us. Not having it. I'm not having it. Whoa, whoa, what did I just target on? And he just shot in the wrong direction. Okay, I think the game's bugged today. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. How about, how about you slow down some? I mean, some beautiful shots here. They really are. I must say so. I'm saying so myself. Well, because I am myself. It's all I've got. Come on. Who needs dead eye? You can shoot crates of TNT, set them off. Where, what? Oh, those. Oh, look at you. What a great silhouette there against the... <laughs> the, the, the bright background. That looked beautiful. As I shot him in the face. I'm not sure Mr. Dickens here knows how to drive. No, no, stop that now. 
For some reason, I couldn't go into Dead Eye, which would have saved my life. I will never give up on science, John. Science is a process, not a religion. I love the rag dolls. That looks so good. People harbor such bitterness. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Bridgewood went through a salt. Oh, here we go. Come on. Before you've even started, fellas. Oh, ho, ho, ho. carried forward with the momentum, the momentum that came out of nowhere. It's funny that I see that in movies a lot when they, like, they blow up. I saw it the other day. They blow up a helicopter, and it suddenly then starts traveling faster than it was traveling in the first place towards the people who shot it. After it was blown up, by the way. Only in the movies, folks. Only move in the movies. Right, this is boring because I've killed everything. I'm just that good. I am just that good. Oh, here we go. Make sure I don't get bored. Thank you. Two more fresh shots. Look at all the rounds and the loot I'm leaving behind. See something red behind me, God knows. Whoever it is, they're on foot. Can you I mean there's I know there's two horses, they're doing their best, but I think this wagon could go a little faster. Ooh. A secret hideout. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. As always, as always. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Right, so that, that wagon... Oh, we've got a, a pop-up trophy there. Spurred to victory, complete 20-story missions. Have we really done 20 already? Well, I think we better take on the next quest. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. Oh, God, I'll what's he got? What's he got brewing this time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, I thought I was getting on yours. All right, I'm getting on mine. Fine. Be like that. Come on. To Rathskeller Fork. So we need okay, Cash well, to turn his ahem, Trojan day, horse. Running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards. I refuse to into an armored Trojan horse, I presume. Derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dick. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. 
you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Rich <laughs> with farm. Gap tooth breach. Find you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I oh, I've got to do another words. race. Oh, it's for cash. Well, that makes sense. Don't worry, I got it. We've done one chariot race so far and I feel like I There's aced it. Well, I did ace it. As in, did it first time. Okay, so, alright, 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 alright. All right. Look, can I go up ahead? Just sort of force this issue. Line up at the start position. With what? Is it? Is it my horse? Oh, do I have to horse? Oh. Come on. We're horse racing here. I think we are. Oh, this is so much more fun. Actually, no, the the, the chariots was kind of cool. All right, all right. Now we haven't even named our horse yet. Um, I can't think of a name off the top of my head. So we'll we'll, we'll call it gentlemen. No shooting. Pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get <laughs> he didn't say not shoot them. Let's go. Let my horse stalled again. This is what happened with the chariot race. The game is rigged. Alright, gotta catch up quickly. We're gonna take the, the apexes as best we can. Horse is stamina build back up again, and now we go. Out of the way. Out of the way, fellas. There we go. Got the lead already. Right, holding, holding, get the stamina back, and run away. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm I do sound like I'm bragging and boasting. I'm just taking the mic, right? I know I'm not a very good gamer, so shush. Take my confidence as as bravado. <laughs> I know what real reality is. Follow the flames. That's that's not quite what we wanted. Oh God, John, you screwed up there. Save it, save it for the end, though. We might need that stamina. Oh, get off the bridge. It's my bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing racing line. I was getting cocky. It does work, though. Just like that. Perfect. Like a Formula One driver. A Formula Horse driver. With one horsepower. That's all I need. Alright, we left them for dust. Hoof dust. Alright, gotta be careful, mindful, but we've got a good lead here. Ooh, is there a split? Oh no, it's fine. There was an alternate path there, but the one I picked actually looked like the shorter. Thank you, thank you for the direction. The hand gestures were helpful. Right, right, right. Need that stamina back, built back, got it. If you're wondering why I'm talking about stamina, it's the left bar on my minimap there. I'm hammering the, the X button to keep the horse sprinting, but if you if you repeatedly hit it, your horse runs out of stamina, and you
and you'll slow down a bit, little bit too much. So you've got to kind of use it sparingly, but just enough to keep ahead of everybody. I think we've got this in the bag. In the nose bag. Oh, yes. Come on. Chill out, get the fastest lap points as well. What a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain. Oh, great. Seth and Irish. Be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Exactly. The three most reliable people we've met in the game so far. All right, come on in. What's up next? Have we got anything next? Oh, we do. We've got an M. An M somewhere over there. Oh, damn it. I don't want to read the newspaper. I keep pressing that by mistake. I'm sorry. Back. Back. Put it away. Put it away. It's not that interesting. Heat haze is really nice. In the daytime, obviously it only comes out in the daytime, but it looks really good. I hope it comes across well on screen. All right, I think there's some more cougars out there. Anyway, um, there are actually. Let's grab the campsite and head to, oh God, this is the thing about the campsite is you, you can't see the map. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Right, I've got to back out, check the map, then I can go back in. Rathskeller Fork. I'm sure we'll see you again. Right, down here to the Marshall. Oh, we've got another Marshall mission. Head back to Benedict Point. Got it. Got it. All right, we're heading towards the Marshall. Somewhere on the map. Uh, the man who, if you remember closely resembles a walrus. Uh, I, I mean, he is just a couple of tusks short, to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I just upset that cougar. Should we go check him out? Wow, one shot. Really, I'm surprised. Big animal like that. Last still. <laughs> he seems happy with himself. So would I be. That's a lot of cash. A cougar pelt? Come on. Cougar meat. No pelt? Did we go? Oh, we got pelt. There you go. All right, Marshall. What do you brought me out here for the, in this this beautiful location? The, I mean, the views are spectacular. Oh, there's a fort. Interesting. But look at this, though. I used to live on a hill very much like this with a view that good. God damn, I miss those days. I don't miss these days. Shot him in the paws. Are we done? Are we done? We're done. Sorry, I know I'm killing a lot of wildlife today, but... You stink. Uh, it's an instinct, you know? It's just uh, my training's kicking in. I can't help it. Alright, let's see what the marshal wants. We'll do this one, and that's the end of it. We'll do this this particular bit of the mission. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a big one. What she said again. John, Marshal, gentlemen. <clears throat> oh. Oh, is this it? Uh huh. Uh huh. -huh. It's time. We must go. This is my motley crew. Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or 
slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Oh, look at that. What a shot. Love that. I mean, not one of my shots. I've got plenty of those coming. So the Gatling gun is assembled. back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Oh, this is so cool. Now I know what he means by the Trojan horse. Beware of Greeks bearing gifts, as they say. For ye may get shot in the Come face on. by multiple Let's rounds go. in many seconds. I think that's how it went. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? Stop it giving the game the away, mate. Back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. You might want to stop talking if you apparently are supposed to be on your own. Oh, there's Seth. Oh, glorious grave digger. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Here we can go. What the hell? It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Take them down, Buster. Oh, they all here? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is like whack-a-mole. Oh, we got we got explosives over here as well. This is like an arcade game, and they just pop up behind a. Is that guy still alive? He just took three of those. He is. C1, C1 what? Oh, there we go. We got more coming in. Ain't gonna last long, don't worry. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's so unfair on them. Why are they running towards it? Do they not see what's happening? There's one of them. Look, there's one of them. Brilliant. What, are you, are you gonna point? I mean, give me a clue. Where's one of them? Alright, this loser's got to go. He's, he's shot me a couple of times now. There you go. It's all over. 
That was brutal. So many fathers, sons, loved ones, or cocksucking sons of bitches. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, partner. Clear the fort. I will do, and I'll just run around gathering up all their ammo. Let's go. Give me that. Give me that. I need those repeater ammo. Absolutely right. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's running off. Get back here, you coward. Do you want like, a cattleman revolver at this particular point in time? I suppose we'll take it. What? No! Who died? Who died on me? All right, boys, let's finish right, I've got to get ahead of this. Get out of my way! Out of the way! I'm not letting any of you die. I think my work here is done. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah, yeah! Get bugger off! West. So I can't let a single deputy, deputy dog, die. I won't let it happen. At least not twice. Yeah, you respect me when you what? What was that? Sorry, I'm, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your face exploding. God damn, he's a good shot. I'm wide open here, somebody's shouting. Crying, pleading. So we gotta be like right on the money with this. Yeah, baby. That'll do nicely. That was definitely a cock shot. Beautiful. See that mist of red dust. Got him. Second. Woohoo! I think that's both of them, boys. Come on, let's regroup. All right, deputies are all alive this time. Deputy, deputy. My deputy deputies are all well, alive and well. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy. Gentlemen, let me in for goodness sake. Oh, he's come back. Okay, yeah, I guess he's getting changed back in. Start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering. You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate. It's the snake oil guy. Get the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him. He has double double crossed us. Beware of Greeks. Oh no, he's all right. He hasn't got any gifts. Reinforcements riding this way. Oh my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them. He could have brought the bloody gun in. Oh yeah. Oh, I, you and me thinking the same thing there, John. Get out there and Gatling gun their ass off. Yeah, boy, come on, let's do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No real horses were harmed in the filming of this episode. Had their own Gatling gun there. I'm lucky. Uh, lucky we got away, got ahead of it. I mean, come on, guys. You're making me look good here. I haven't had to use explosives once. I see you. I see you. Don't think I don't. Oh, I shot. There was a TNT barrel on that, and I managed to just knock it off. I do love this game for its for its sense of simplicity. If we get overrun, we got barrels of TNT. Is that it? He said there was a hundred of them. Bill ain't here. I counted about fifteen. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on! I missed it, Mr. Marsty. We got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. 
He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. Hi, boys. Oh, I That's miss enough. these guys. Already. See you, Seth. Wash your hands, by the way, my friend. There's a lot of grave dirt under your fingernails. I guess that's end of chapter one then. If there is a chapter, I don't know what you call it that. Land of Opportunity, complete the assault on Fort Mercer. You can't see this because I'm uh, the, the the steam overlay is not showing, but yeah, we've done it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next part once I've looted all these dead bodies. And uh, we're heading to Mexico, people. We're heading to Mexico. All the best. Take care. And, oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Sunset with John Marston. Gun in the air. It don't get much better than that, does it? Take care and good night.